Hi, I'm Nick from Hand to Taurus. This is No Bull Gear Reviews, and this is the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. Horizon Devices was founded by Misha Mansour and a few friends. Now, Misha is no stranger to the metal scene today. He's known for his work with Periphery, Haunted Shores, and his own work, which is under Bulb. Uh, he's also known for being a gearhead. So he's got the Jackson Signature Series lineup. Um, he, you got the PV Invective Series amps, amazing amps, and the GGD plugins uh, that he's associated with with Adam Goodgood, uh, who was also the basis of Periphery. Um, we also have Horizon Devices, and they've got their uh, their pedal lineups, which is their Flex Echo, the Apex Preamp, and the Precision Drive. Today, I want to give you a chance to hear the Precision Drive in action with your own ears. I want you to hear my thoughts on it, and hopefully that's going to give you a chance to decide whether the pedal is right for you. Let's go ahead and hear some clips through my PV Invective 120 head with the Precision Drive engaged and disengaged so you can hear just what it's doing to the guitar tone. Okay, so now we're down here at the pedal board. I've got my Precision Drive running into the front of my PV Invective 120. We're going to be playing on channel 3, the high gain channel. I've got my EQ, low, mid, and high all set to noon. My gain is actually set back to about 10 o'clock. My post gain is cranked all the way to 5 o'clock. My resonance and uh, presence are both set to 2 o'clock. And I've got my master rolled back just to offset some of that uh, volume that I'm obviously going to get from cranking my post gain uh, control. I'll go ahead and let you hear how the amp sounds first, and then we'll engage and disengage the precision drive. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the precision drive. Um, you know, it's it's a hot rodded style overdrive, but I don't think that it's completely the same as a uh, as the assumption anyone could make that it would be like the the TS808 series or just another you know Maxon 808 clone. Uh, it's it's something of its own in a way. We've got the attack knob right here. So as as we have the attack knob turned over to the left hand side, that affects more of like your lower mid range style frequencies. Now, as we turn it to the right, it's got just a few different settings. Um, that starts affecting your upper mids, okay? So you can change the way that the attack of your guitar tone really hits. I like to keep it right about here. Um, as far as the, actually I'll do it right about there, yeah, there. So with the volume knob over here, that's kind of similar to your level knob that you'd have on your uh, overdrive pedals, but Whenever we have it set to about six on here, or you know one or two o'clock, it's actually the same as whenever those level knobs are maxed out on other pedals. So this really gives you a lot more volume to play with if you have like lower to medium uh, style pickups. I think that's really cool. Sometimes you don't always have you know some really hot style pickup that you're wanting to use on the guitar that you have. You can just go ahead and add more volume to push your amp uh, even harder. You've got the bright knob over here. It's a little different than your tone knob on the overdrive pedals, whereas it, it actually affects more of your upper frequencies, uh, even even your high frequencies of your guitar tone a little bit more, um, which can you know give you a little bit more of a hi-fi sound to your tone, or you can dial it back a little bit more and make it sound pretty similar to, to the tone knobs that you'd be affecting on your overdrive pedals. We've got the drive over here. Now this is pretty cool because um, you know it adds a it adds a, a, some pretty cool grit that is usable even on mid range frequencies or mid gain frequencies. I'm sorry, um, you know to 
even your if you're really trying to get some some just heavy gain uh, into your into your tone, this can really add it. I like to keep it down at zero unless I'm messing with um, you know maybe some single coil mode style cleans. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more drive into that, and we'll take a look at that when we go back to the pedal board. Uh, we also have the uh, a, a gate knob right here. Now this makes this basically two pedals in one. This is kind of like a like an ISP decimator style uh, noise gate that you know is is in this circuit. And so as you turn it uh, to the right, it adds it, it affects how your gate opens and closes to where you know you can do some really cool staccato riffing as it's set maxed out and. Uh, you don't have to end up buying a whole nother pedal. So whenever you start thinking about the $220 price point with it, you're essentially getting two pedals in one. And I think that that's really cool. Um, as far as power supply goes, nothing crazy. It's your standard nine volt center negative, uh, 16 milliamp style power supply that you need to, to plug into it. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go back to the pedal board and we'll just run through these knobs and see how each one affects the tone. Okay, so now I've got the same sample uh, that I had from the engage and disengage that I'm going to be reamping back through the Precision Drive and the PV Invective 120. Um, and that'll keep my hands free so that I can work the controls and we'll hear it in a high gain context where I'm manipulating the various configurations of the pedal and you can see how it affects the tone itself. So now we'll try it out in a, a mid-game context, uh, something a little cleaner.
Now I'd like to give you my thoughts on the Precision Drive. So overall, I think this is a great pedal. This is completely different, in my opinion, than a lot of other overdrive pedals out there where they just really tried to clone uh, one of the TS-808, OD-808 uh, style overdrives. And this really sets itself apart. It's not just that. It's got um, a lot of ways that make it versatile. It, it, you could use it to boost your amp. You can use it to, to tweak your tone and, and change the way your guitar sounds. But you can also use it to um, not just push your amp, but you can use it for mid-gain tones and not just metal in general. There's a lot of good context where this could really shine uh, and, and make your tone be set apart. Uh, from from other ones, so I could see me using this on synths. Uh, I can see me using this on you know uh, several different contexts with guitar in general uh, to to sculpt my tone. For the price point of two hundred and twenty dollars, I don't think that this is a this is a bad thing. Uh, two hundred and twenty dollars may sound steep to to some people when when talking about pedals in general. But overall, I mean, I, I think that you're getting two pedals in one with this. Uh, you have really, really high control. It's a very intuitive pedal. Um, and, and it gives you a lot of control over how your guitar sounds coming out of it. But you also get a really easy to use, a really high quality noise gate out of it. And I think that that's really important because that saves you in the long run. I've spent a lot of money on just buying noise gate pedals in general. So having one right in the front of my, you know, OD pedal really just is a, it's a no brainer whether I would, you know, keep this or not. This is one of my favorite pedals. Uh, this is my go-to. I found whenever I go through uh, uh, some of my other pedals, I end up gravitating right back towards this one and end up using it in, in most recording contexts. I hope you found this video helpful for deciding whether the Horizon Devices Precision Drive would be good in your rig. If you did like this video, please hit like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you more. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nick, and you're awesome.